Talkers, welcome back to the Hearts of Midlovian career mode. I didn't care what number it is, I think it's 36, but don't quote me on it now. We've got Aberdeen at Pataudry today. Once we beat them, we'll officially... Fucking hell, phone's blown up here. It's like fight, fucking ISIS is in my phone, man. They're just blowing the shit up constantly, man. Fucking shut up, will you? Right, anyway, as I was saying, we've got Aberdeen here at Pataudry. And after we play them, we will be exactly at the halfway mark of the season. Look at that. Astoria's just went to Ferder Bremen for 9.5 million. Uh, rest in peace, man. Fucking... I don't think he'd pay 9.5 million from now, but too soon. Aye, man, Paul. <laughs> Apologies, nah, man. All joking aside, rest in peace, a story. Fucking shame what happened to the guy. Right, anyway, as I was saying, right, I was a joke, guys. Don't fucking, don't delete my channel. Um, as I was saying, after this game, we will be exactly at the halfway mark. So we've got a chance to put a gap between ourselves and Aberdeen. The gap's currently five points. If we can beat them here, it will be eight points. If they beat us, it's down to two points, so, you know, uh, like I said, big game, and Celtic also seven in front of us, Rangers are at one point in front of us. We need to keep the pressure on these teams, so we can't afford to drop points. Let's get into this match. It's going to be a huge one, and after that, we do have the Edinburgh Derby against Hibernian. Fucking insane, guys. Lots of shit going to go down here. Right. So, we've been playing pretty well, so I'm just going to go with this team. McLaughlin, Taylor, Barrett, Suter, Smith... Walker, Busquets, Shuhum, Kelly, Burke, and Big Kel Laffey. I'm going with these guys. It's basically my first team, and I'm going to stick with them because they're performing well, man. They're getting the job done, even though in the last game we fucking got beat. Kelly, Burke. Oh, lovely. Oh, Burke almost getting past the last line of defence there. Greg Taylor. Kelty. Lafferty. Busquets. Shuhum. Busquets, Lafferty inside the box, Lafferty twists, he turns and woeful shot straight at Danny Rogers, man. The fuck was that for the king? Oh, Walker, Lafferty, back to Jamie Walker, this is good play here. Three hearts, Jamie Walker, get in! Lovely play, combining Walker and Lafferty together, and Walker with a great finish past Danny Rogers and puts us 1-0 up in front with 22 minutes gone. Epic stuff there, and that now gives us an 8 point advantage over the Sheep, Jamie Walker's 4th goal of the season. Maybe, maybe not banging in the goals and assists you'd expect, but he's performing every single match, Every ma almost every match he's the best player. Come on Kelly, big king, the king! Woeful, I think it may have took a deflection, nah it's not, it was just absolute shit. So there you go. Moment to Taylor, and that is going to do it for the first half. Been, been a poor game. It's been a disappointment, massive letdown so far. We're playing alright, but Aberdeen just have not turned up. Celtic are winning two 0 against Hamilton. Rangers are currently drawn with Hibernian, so if both results stay the same, we will move into second place. That would be that would be fantastic news, man. And then there you see Aberdeen just had the one shot, really terrible. Uh, it's been us. We're in complete control here. Hopefully, we can see it this game. Aberdeen, they are struggling for form. They're dropping behind the, the leading three in the league, and it looks like they're going to drop even further behind in this game now because they just do not look like scoring. We're talking about looking like scoring. Can Kel Arfrey turn around here and score, maybe? He's looking for the big man, Kelty. He finds Busquets, it's Burke, it's Walker, Jamie Walker shoots. Oh, what a goal! Fucking Jamie Walker, man! The man with the tash, the man with the plan, the man with the golden boot that's just made it fucking 2 0. Look at that, Jamie Walker, boom, Danny Rogers, no chance, Joe Lewis, no chance, fucking David De Gea would have had no chance. What a goal, man. Jamie Walker, son, take a bow. Boom! 2 0. Good night. Ah, oh, fuck me. I don't know. I don't even know what's happened there. I mean, they've been out of the game completely. Somehow they get a cross in. Stevie May, I suppose it's a decent finish. He's kicked it well on the folly there, but... Do they deserve it? Do they? Fuck. But Aberdeen are back in the game. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just not going to need to up it again. I just took my... 
I think my foot after the gas there. I thought the match was won at 2 0, and now all of a sudden Aberdeen are right back in it. I think McLaughlin should do better there. I think he needs to get something on that, but Stevie May ain't giving a shit. He's away celebrating as if he scored a worldie. Ah, almost through Walker. Shum. Kelty. Greg Taylor. Crawford. Ali Crawford! Oh man, just wide. I don't think Danny Rogers would have got to that, but sadly we'll never know. My, oh my, what the fuck is that, man? What the fuck is that? Hey. Lafferty! Oh, save Danny Rogers, man, man, you see. Oh, Shahoon! No, off the post! Shit me! Fuck! Right, Smith Brown. Smith Brown still? Oh my god, and that's why he doesn't get many games. Fucking hell. Pick that on out here, old said, man. It's better when you're picking out the back of the net, like, but fuck me. Oh my god, good save there from McLaughlin, but that, that'll be sick if we can see now after dominating this game. Danny Rogers is up, it looks like they're going for it massive. Oh, it's over. Can we actually do something here before they get all their men back? Nah, Danny Rogers looks like he's got back in the nets, unfortunately. They're still committing a lot of men forward, though. We may be able to counter here. It's Kel Lafferty. Does he go for goal? Does he go for the corner flag? Going to go for goal. It's Murray Davidson. And that is absolutely... And that's why... Fuck me, you're giving these guys a chance to get some game time to maybe force them into the front team. Forcing them into the transfer list at this stage. Ah, fuck ball through to Ross. It's Ross. It's a terrible cross for Ross. And that's going to do it, surely. Kel Lafferty... Can't control it, terrible touch, but there's the final whistle, and with 1-2-1. One, one. Once again, Jamie Walker, our best player on the field, a 9.4 rating, and uh, we, we, we pretty much controlled that game, dominated that game. Aberdeen, in the last 10 minutes, created a couple of chances, like, but nothing spectacular, and we get the three points at Pitaudry. Alright, so some players returning for loan, most notably Jack Hamilton for Norwich, and He'll be giving um, McLaughlin some stiff competition, I believe, now in the Hearts of Midlobian net. Some manager ratings just dropped to 57, which is never good. But um, uh, I'm kind of used to that now. Hamilton up to 78 rated goalkeeper now, so maybe we're going to have to start playing him. Who knows? Still only 24. We could perhaps loan him out again until the end of the season. The only problem is we don't have any other goalkeepers, so if McLaughlin somehow got injured, we'd be absolutely fucked. Looks like Rangers actually came back against Hibs and ended up getting the win. So they still remain one point in front of us. And we have Hibernian up next. So at the halfway stage, Celtic on 41 points, Rangers on 35, we're on 34. And then there's a gap back to Kilmarnock in fourth place. Uh, Aberdeen just fit, dropped them off the pace massively at the top end of the table. But like I said, up next we've got Hibernian, their form's been fucking terrible. The joint bottom of the table with Motherwell. Only three wins for 19 games. We have to make sure we take advantage of their poor season. Go out and smash them and try and finish the episode in second place. Alright, so I had to make a few changes to this game at Easter Road. Due to um, fatigue and fitness and stuff like that. So we've got McLaughlin, Jamie Brandon coming in at right back. Novak coming in at centre back. Then we've got Bear, Taylor, Kilty, Angel Gomez coming in. To the middle of the field, Jamie Walker out wide, uh, Busquets, Burt there, and then up front we've got Moldy replacing Kel Lafferty. From Kelty, cross it in, Mold, get it in! Already fucking early start here to the East game at Easter Road and we're winning man, fucking hell, we did not waste time at getting off to a great start man. Hawks 1, Hibs now, Louis Mold getting his first goal in ages actually, I don't know, I, mean, I can't remember the last time Mold scored. I know he's not been getting a lot of game time recently, but still, good cross, I think it was Kelty there, twisting and turning, getting the ball into the box, Moult with a nice header, low down, keeper can't reach it, and Louis Moult getting the business done for us, only his third goal for us, you probably would expect him to have more than that, but, oh, Burke, through to Jamie Walker, 2 now. oh my, this is all a lie, I was framed, I'm completely innocent. My God, no, Jimmy, son. How have you put it wide? What? What? Fuck me, man. 2-0, that chance. That was to go 2-0 up at Easter Road. Well 
Burke. Taylor. Burke. Ah. Oh. Great play again from us, but it's just the, the final shot, man. It's power puff shots. Oh, off the line, fuck me, and no overhead kick clearance. So at half time, we've got Upper Dean like that getting beat again. Derek McKenzie is going to be out of a job soon. That is shocking. The old farmer are also drawn. Celtic are drawn with Mullerwell Rangers, drawn with Ross County. This is a great opportunity here for us to get the three points, close the gap on Celtic, and overtake Rangers. If you look at the stats, it's been all us. It's kind of similar to the Aberdeen game. A game we've dominated in Hibs, just like Aberdeen, have been absolute shite, absolute woeful. Hopefully we get the same result. Good play. Very good play. Jamie Brandon. Holly Burke. Get in! 2-0! Yes, man! And that should secure all three points. And we're on fucking fire. Where's your man, Mark? What the fuck was his name? Mark Stewart, was it? Oh, you piss, you're, you're shite at FIFA, you're 10th, you're 3th at bottom. Where the fuck am I now, eh? In the top three, probably going to go second above Rangers. That's what I'm all about, guys. Fucking brilliant. Come on. Shit's through to Murray. Straight into Anthony McClough. I think that might be Hibs' first shot of the game, and it came in the 89th minute. That's fucking woeful, man. Right, Sonata out to Smith. Brown. Molt. Jamie Brandon, still Jamie Brandon, turns back, it's good, Angel Gomez, shot block, going to be a corner, one last chance to stick the knife further into the Hibernian heart, ball comes in and it's a goal, it looks like it's a captain, I think it's a captain, is it Christoph Berra, no it's Louis Moult, Louis Moult getting his second goal in the game, fourth of the season, lovely corner there for Angel Gomez and Moult, they are first to the ball, Good night, 3 0, and this is embarrassing performance here for Hibs. I was expecting a tough game. Um, normally, I do find it difficult to win these Edinburgh derbies, but God knows what's happening to Hibs here. Absolutely terrible. And uh, we'll celebrate that lovely 3 0 win here at Easter Road. Great, and so solid games from everyone there. Look at that, 14 shots to the Hibernian one. And uh, man, that, that should see Neil Lennon out of a job, you'd think. That's woeful, that is rape, man. That is, at this league table, we're sitting in second place. Only five points off the leaders, Celtic. Albeit they do have far superior goal difference, so that you can basically say that's an extra point to Celtic. But I mean, we're still in with a chance this league title. I honestly do believe that. And uh, if we keep up our current form, then why can't we go all the way? Alright guys, so perhaps some bad news here. Shahum has decided to join Wolfsburg. Now, he's got six months left in his contract. I thought we'd agreed. I thought he was going to sign a new deal, but for some reason, he's went back on his word and he's agreed to join him, which is weird. Craig Kelt is worth 4.3. Angel Gomez, 4.3. Angel Gomez, is, look at that. He's went up 168%. That's shocking. Look how much his value's went up. He's not even playing that many games. Uh, got Busquets, oh his, holy crap, for 7 million, his value's been up 288% man. Uh, 2 million for Greg Taylor, he's been up 158%. So, we've got a lot of players here worth a lot of money, and who knows, maybe we'll be getting some offers in as the transfer window remains, guys. But that's going to do it for this episode. Next time out, we'll be taking on Partick Thistle, we'll be looking to keep up our good form here in the moment. Partick Fizzle and then Rangers, like what an episode that should be guys. Make sure you tune into that one. But until then, being Star Scotland 90, we're now in second place. We can do this. We're coming after you Celtic. Celtic, we're coming for you. Peace. You want the goal?